Good afternoon. Hello, how's it going? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doing good, yeah. Well, good to hear. Uh, so before we get started, let's just do a quick introduction uh, so we know everyone who's here. I'm Alex, by the way, with Aving TV and uh, Aving News, and uh, it's nice to meet you all. Nice to meeting you, Alex. Nice to meet you. Uh, I have names in front of me, um, but I am a little worried about pronunciation. So can you help me with my pronunciation? Bo Huang Long? Uh, you can call me Long. Long? Yes. Perfect. Sounds good. Uh, and uh, Helen Jean from MingleCon. Is that right? Yeah, Helen. Just Helen. Perfect. Cool. We have less than a minute, less than two minutes left, and then we'll get started. And uh, I don't know. Have some fun. We have Mr. Mind. Uh, we have Mingle Con. Con. And do we have Safeware? Need to see all my. There we go. Hello. Is that uh, Safeware? Is that? Here we go. Where we go. Jenny. Jenny. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> uh, is, it, uh, is it? I have, I have a name. name. Jenny Messicomer. Yes. <laughs> okay, exactly. Got it. Or you? Does Does you Jenny work, or do you go by Jenny? Yeah, Messicomer? just 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 Jenny. In Korea, it's you <laughs> because Messicomer is too got long. It. So. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Alex Sigrist of Pangyo Techno Valley TV. And we're going to go ahead and begin this 2022 Pangyo monthly online meetup, uh, which today is exciting because we are now connecting Vietnam and Korea. So Pangyo Korea, as well as Vietnam Plus. Thank you all for joining us. So here uh, we're at Pangyo Techno Valley, which is a leading innovation center in South Korea, which of course has drawn the attention not only from people in Korea, but all over the world. As there are many people represented here uh, through all of the various startup programs that are here. And along with other places like Silicon Valley in the US, Zhongguangsun in China, Station F in France. Uh, you know, we've been talking to people from around the world and hosting this Pangyo online meetup uh, with the Pangyo TV YouTube channel. And thank you all for joining us and very excited to also expand to uh, a new country today to go into Vietnam as well. So it was about this time of last year that we shared issues of media in countries that we mentioned earlier and issues in Pangyo, issues in France and issues in China. A little bit about what is happening here in uh, or happening there in uh, Vietnam as well. And so I want to say thank you to everyone out there who is going to be uh, joining us, not, not only here in our studios around the world, but also watching us online as well. So before we do begin, though, I've been talking too long and there are plenty of amazing people that I want everyone to meet. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and briefly introduce each other or ourselves here, uh, starting with a senior editor at Vietnam Plus. This is Long. Greetings. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, 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 thank you so much for joining. Yeah. How are you? I am uh, 40, 42. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, a little, I'm a little bit sad, so okay. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I share my So slide? we're gonna go ahead and uh, in just, yeah. Yeah, in just one moment, uh, quickly, I just want to say the names of everyone else here, but you are going to start us off first. So one, one moment with that. Uh, also want to say uh, hello to uh, everyone here from Safeware. We have Jenny. Yes. Thank you hello. for joining us. Uh, we also have, <laughs> how are you doing today? Great, great. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and actually, you, you cannot see it, but in the room here with me, uh, we also have Mr. Tongwan Kim, who is the CEO of Mr. Mind. We'll be talking 
uh, with him as well. And so thank you for joining us. And then also uh, we are be gonna be talking to the CEO of MingleCon. Uh, so we have this meetup here with uh, Hyung Jung Jin, CEO of MingleCon. Hi, I'm Helen going? from MingleCon. Uh, Helen, excuse me. Hi, yes, it's okay. Uh, and uh, thank you all for joining us. And we're ready to get into it. And we do want to learn a little bit about our uh, partner country today and see a little bit about the issues here in uh, Vietnam. So without further ado, let's get this started. And uh, Long, will you please share your slides with us and tell us a little bit I have to say. So uh, hello, everyone. Uh, uh, I'm, my name is Bo uh, Hoang Long. I'm uh, an editor from Vietnam. And uh, I'm uh, glad to be here today to uh, introduce my media to you. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm interesting about my company. So uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I can uh, get it mm -hmm. to full page. Uh, so can we just continue? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. So um, uh, from where I uh, left it, so uh, okay, we've been up last provide information on many hot topics in the country, but a bit leaning toward technology and development. We are focused on educated young people who love technology and usually live in big cities, but we also attract other type of uh, audiences. Uh, in order to draw attention, we have been very creative when it comes to journalism. We have a product like rap news, which, uh, which deliver news by using rap song. And we have interactive long home story, 360 degree photos, news, uh, news game and podcast. We also expand our presence to various social networking platform, such as uh, Facebook, YouTube, and more recently, the TikTok. Our TikTok channel currently has uh, nearly 1 million subscribers with uh, many million views, videos. And one of the activities that uh, Vietnam Plus is uh, interested in is uh, introducing new technology and product and connecting business with uh, customers. Because uh, contributing to the de development of Vietnam, uh, economy as well as uh, international uh, cooperation are part of our tasks. So uh, in terms of uh, business, Vietnam is considered an attractive uh, destination. Uh, according to uh, official statistic, you can see. Yeah. Uh, in the first six months of the year, the number of newly established uh, business is at a record high, we have more than 76,000 newly established businesses, an increase of 13.6% uh, over the same period in 2021. Various statistics show that Vietnam has about 1,500 startups operating in many fields. However, um, most startups in uh, Vietnam quickly fail because of uh, problems such as uh, difficulty in assessing capital, less experience in uh, management and market evaluating, difficulty in finding necessary, in necessary high quality workers and other issues. So only 300% are really successful and this is uh, one of uh, this is like six company, six startup that uh, are successful in Vietnam, and uh, and though um, are successful, uh, they, they they need to justify one of the following criteria. They are value as ten million USD or more, with turnover of two million USD per year, have one hundred uh, and more employee, and have raised capital in the second round of calling, of calling for investment, or sold the company with good price. So uh, 
it usually takes uh, five to seven years for these startups to become uh, companies that worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, right now, um, nearly all successful, successful startups in Vietnam just copy and localize the same model that has been successful abroad. You can see uh, even the most successful like uh, 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 PNG, that's a, the very big company in Vietnam, they uh, just copy uh, the model from abroad. So copying, copying successful startup model also means that innovation is not very high and the ability to compete in foreign markets is also very low. Um, but basically, the technology-based startups are currently quite successful in Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam has four startups uh, value as uh, one billion US dollar or more. Uh, that including uh, VNG, VN Life, Momo, and Sky Mavis. In those, uh, VNG is a true uh, technology company with the uh, main four product uh, segment. They have online games. They have connecting platform. They have uh, electronic payment and cloud computing service. Uh, BNG is also the first startup that was value one billion US dollar in Vietnam back in two thousand and nineteen. So, um, um, so digital transformation of traditional occupation is also a trend in Vietnam startup community. For example, uh, EdTech is a startup uh, that uh, digitally transforms general education programs. Uh, meanwhile, HealthTech focus on telemedicine support solution. Uh, if HR focus on uh, human resource technology and home based on real estate transaction. So um, we believe that uh, Vietnam as a developing country with high economic, economic growth still has lots of playgrounds, playgrounds for technology company and startup. It worth noting that Viet people quite like Korean brand product thanks to the Korean wave and the present of many large and small Korean companies such as uh, Samsung, CJ, Hyundai, and the good relationship between the two countries. So uh, I want to say that let's try to enter the Vietnamese market and get successful there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh uh, for sharing that with us and honestly uh, uh, a lot of what you said resonates a lot of it uh, I have many friends in Korea especially who are constantly working with other companies in uh, Vietnam or are taking business trips to Vietnam constantly and so to see kind of the the partnerships and also just the connections between the two countries is uh it's always exciting to see and hopefully that will continue and part of the reason we're here is to also kind of bring people together. And that's what we're gonna go ahead and get started on. In just a moment, I will quickly, before we do that, uh, since I'm short on time, do a very quick rundown of a little bit of uh, kind of Pangyo Techno Valley, a reminder to those who are watching right now, what it is that happens here. Uh, we're currently filming right inside Pangyo Techno Valley at where one of the startup campuses. So without further ado, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it and share my screen. Hopefully this works correctly. We'll see if this does and continue. Now, uh, is this working right now? Thumbs up, thank you so much. Uh, so again, brief, quick introduction to Pongo Techno Valley here. Uh, just gonna be sharing a slide that we have, that for those who have seen uh, these live meetups, uh, or these meetups, if you've seen them, you may have recognized the first couple of slides. But basically, Pongo Techno Valley is Pongo First Techno Valley, which is where we are now. It's expanded and currently expanding in Pongo Second Techno Valley. 
Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the future of Pongyo Techno Valley as well. And we're here right now, Pongyo First Techno Valley, which is a goal of South Korea to become kind of a big startup hub and not just a startup hub, but also to link startups with existing companies in Korea uh, to bridge the gap for uh, information technology to, uh, to kind of not only just help Korea's economy and the tech sector as a whole, but also create new unicorn companies, create new companies that are going to be able to uh, reach global audiences. And that would be required, you know, using uh, not only what's here in Pongo Techno Valley, but also as you see the one plus five digital city growth, uh, growth project. It's not just Pongo Techno Valley, but all of the other cities and locations around it as well. Uh, so this is kind of a timeline, a little bit of what you have seen. Uh, what you see now is um, where it started, like 2003, and it's been a long process. And this goes up to where we are now, the startup campus in 2015. Uh, if you have some more time, I'd recommend taking a look at this and just screenshot it if you'd like, but I'm going to move on. Just give a little bit of the location information. We are currently, I think it's about a 20, 25 minute subway ride, bus ride from the center of Seoul. That's how I got here right from uh, the express bus terminal. It's really close. It took about 10 years for this project to come to pass. Uh, and it's a large area that has lots of different uh, companies, big and small employees of not just Koreans, but of course, from all over the world here as well, especially here at the startup campus, as there are many right, right next door. Uh, there are tons of people that I've met from, from France to, uh, well, I guess, so Europe to South America, Africa, to uh, even Australia, New Zealand area as well. So it's bringing in people from around the world. And here it is a little bit, the strength and strategy of Pangyo is to bring startups together that have their own knowledge, but also to bring them closer to bigger companies here in Korea as well. Plus, you have uh, educational infrastructure and an environment that promotes this kind of growth, whether it comes through uh, research centers that are available and, all, and uh, all the different facilities that are offered here to the companies that work here in Pango First Techno Valley and Second Techno Valley, as we'll talk about soon. A uh, little bit of the stats again, a little bit of the information. Uh, you can find here, don't need to talk too much about it, but it's going well. I think that's kind of the gist of it all. Uh, lots of companies here, lots of employees, lots of different tech uh, startups that I've gotten to interview myself. And I'm always excited to see kind of what the future of this industry is going to be. Again, this is just uh, things are going well. Increased sales of companies over the past. Uh, 10 years, well, eight years from this chart anyway. Here are some of the companies you might rec uh, recognize as well. Um, again, for those who are not from Korea, you, you'll still recognize all, all the big names. Uh, maybe Nexon, Samsung, POSCO, SK, of these names, but there are plenty of these companies, all these other companies, is of course to work together with the smaller startups that are here. Briefly, these are just the companies again from IT to biotech to culture technology and all of the facilities that are here. Uh, they've got the startup campus, they've got the global RD center uh, in Gyeonggi CCEI. Uh, this whole if you've never been here, this entire city is pretty amazing. I mean, the city itself is kind of a research test bed. If you consider the fact that it's going to be used to test autonomous built, uh, vehicles here in Korea on the streets, uh, autonomous buses or transportation here. So the entire, we have facilities here, of course, but it feels like the entire area itself is a test bed uh, for future technologies in Korea. Uh, it's going to go ahead and end up for the purpose of getting through this quickly and making sure we can talk to our other companies. It's going to show you some, but we're going to kind of move through here. Again, I mentioned Pongo Second Techno Valley as well. I, I just visited this year for startup, another startup hub. Uh, the focus is on different technologies, but still in the same vein, it has, uh, it gives companies 
access to resources to uh, other larges that they can work with. So it's just an exact note. This come the two the of the design of what you're looking at. So, so I think that the future of the Pongo Techno Valley, it's very much what you would expect a place like this to be, of course, to be kind of an innovation. It's uh, broken on my side. We're going to go in talk. Seems OK now. OK. MingleCon. Hello, Helen. OK, hi. Thank you for, uh, for teens problem solving. OK. Hi, I'm Helen Jean from MingleCon. Uh, our catchphrase is a navigator for teens problem solving. So I think I, I'm sure everybody knows uh, problem solving skills uh, are needed by anyone, like including us, anytime and anywhere. So teens, uh, particularly nearly 30% of the global population, and I guess they, they have been facing difficulties in anxiety, uh, bullying, uh, drug addiction, and uh, drinking alcohol, et cetera. So uh, problem solving skills are very important, essential for teenagers to navigate their complex, their lives, and also entire uh, through their life. So we took computational thinking, which is a core competence of problem solving skills, like uh, uh, pattern recognition, decomposition, uh, abstraction algorithms, debugging as a content with gamified approaches. So which is called the Minglebot AI. So Minglebot AI offers uh, interactive games, hands-on activities, songs and cartoons with less uh, anxiety and stress for teens to improve problem solving skills with mobile apps, PC apps, kit, uh, even Steam and AI robots. Robots. Uh, in contrast to our competitors, uh, MingleCon, we approach uh, computational thinking as a content by utilizing mobile kit and PC and robots. And the competitors have been uh, have been uh, tutorialing, providing tutorial for language program, program language oriented to enhance uh, problem solving skills. This is uh, what we have for distinctive features with competitors. And well, to convict how Minglebot AI works, we did case studies with three 20 teens, including the teens with disabilities. 99% uh, of participants showed progress in data analysis, uh, collaborations, communication, and troubleshootings, et cetera. So, so far we got nearly 300,000 uses and global export licensing contract. Uh, as you can see here, our uh, partners, buyers and platforms, the target buyers have been expanded from ICT, uh, robot and robot company, and you know, schools to uh, local government uh, for the teens with uh, disabilities and also senior healthcare centers. So from starting uh, with the first round of funding, we aim at the, uh, we aim at securing second round of funding for strategic growth. So these are the end users uh, like uh, at schools uh, and teens, baby boomers, and even families and local government, and also even uh, through online uh, education. And sometimes the teens with disabilities and adults with some disabilities, these are the end users so far. So we are aiming at, uh, uh, we intend to take up 0.01% among healthcare gamification market. So we have been steadily developing international network at, as many overseas. So our team members are working so hard to move on next step uh, to reach the goal. 
So we are looking for the strategic partnership and also funding uh, for advancing our subscription model and also marketing uh, market segmentation and also upgrading in the value chain processes. Uh, one more thing, we have more gamification for English language development. We call this Mingakon Rolling English 240. Uh, and also Jam Jam Toy. So these are the gamification we provide at the moment. So this is uh, all about Mingakon. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for sharing Thank that you. with us. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm very curious uh, and long if you have anything you would like to ask as well. Uh, I was a little curious about the what, what are some of the games that you offer? So you talked about having different learning programs. Is there anything that you are especially proud of or is there, yeah, can you just show us one of these and talk about it? No, actually, I am, I'm saying like Mingable AI is, is one of my main service, actually. So mm -hmm. here, this is one of my main service. Mingable AI is pretty, uh, so far, but, uh, very practical and effective for teens and also adults to improve their problem solving skills. So I really want that uh, the people or teens in Vietnam uh, aware of and also have some mm -hmm. chances to practice or to download uh, Mingable AI. Is it the answer? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm looking at the games right now. Recording uh, in also, progress. So, to see exactly, exactly what's available. What's available. Just, uh, just, uh, I'm you definitely can curious. Download, you can free download anyway. Got it. I will, I will, I will check, I will this. check it out after this. Oh, no. Do you uh, have anything? Uh, you, uh, do you have anything? Uh, you, uh, you, uh, Okay, I'm going to keep myself muted for a second. Uh, is there, is there any, anyone, anyone who would like to talk? Long, uh, long would you like yeah. to? I have uh, some questions for you, Helen. Yes. Yeah. Long. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, your business uh, business is uh, very interesting. Uh, in, in Vietnam, we uh, we do have some some same uh, service uh, like you. Uh, we we have like um, monkey junior, yep. just like a, a gamification. Yes. Uh, uh, just uh, like your definition. So, and we have a uh, Duolingo. So, uh, uh, Vietnam people uh, uh, usually use so uh, service to teach the children to English. So, uh, but you you uh, you use uh, your product to teach. Uh, problem solving skills so that's a bit different so i have some questions so uh, what make you run this business recording stopped recording oh, in okay. progress but actually long thank you for asking the questions uh, actually there are uh, the mingle but ai is for problem solving skills which is a core confidence of artificial uh, era AI era and also uh, I think I've been working for over I think over 30 years uh, like such as working as a vice principal of international British private school and also a professor and also exporting uh, content to abroad so the, all the careers uh, have convinced me how important problem solving skills are so that's why mm -hmm. it's kind of a, uh, the problem solving skills can be a clue or give me some ideas to run this business and also produce uh, Mingleboard AI. And also, as, as you mentioned, a monkey program, right? Monkey Junior in Vietnam. There's app. Yes, Monkey yes, Junior. Monkey too. Junior is for like English language development, right? So uh, we provide yeah. uh, Mingleboard AI for problem solving skills. We provide a Minka controlling English for English language development uh, gamification. So we have two traces, two business sector for um, people's uh, uh, living, smart, living smart and also for problem solving, also English language development. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I see that um, you know uh, problem solving skill is uh, and uh, is something that the Vietnamese children is not. Uh, very you know so uh, i i hope i hope that uh, your product recording will be, stopped 
uh, accept and in you know uh, we, we, we will welcome in my country and but uh, you you say that your software is recording in progress like, uh, ai system uh, could you explain a bit more about the the the, the mini bot ai Oh yes, as you can see here uh, from the screen, Minglebot AI is for problem solving, solving skills. Uh, I'm sure long you understand the problem solving is uh, needed every every um, every time, everywhere, even including me, including you, right? So that's why uh, we just uh, let the users can use the program anytime, everywhere. So we provide. Um, being about AI by utilizing mobile applications and also PC apps and also as you can see from the screen the books and stickers the cars uh, and also origami robot but we have a 21 month program so everybody including teens and also adults who needed to prevent ADA uh, the dementia even even in adult so that they can practice and also they can download apps and uh, if you, the users, if you have some time to practice or enjoy experiencing Minglebird AI, I'm sure uh, problem solving skills will be developed. So this is all about uh, for problem solving skills uh, with, the ki uh, with the kits and also applications and also interactive games and hands-on activities, songs and cartoons. So I, I hope the people in Vietnam can have some chances to experience experience and uh, to practice uh, to enjoy the mingle with AI yeah thank okay. you so um, I guess some more question what about your business model? Uh, actually we do uh, we intend the b2b and b2c under subscription at the moment so the target uh, at the moment uh, in the beginning the target companies businesses are ICT companies robot companies and schools now they are uh, the target uh, the business section the markets are taking uh, mingle with AI as anti-dementia uh, like uh, digital therapeutics uh, for not for curing for prevention does it make sense to you, uh, Long? I see that you uh, you have an uh, MOU with uh, Vietnam uh, in your slides. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. So, so uh, what about the progress? Uh, uh, actually, uh, we had our MOUs, international MOUs with uh, Indonesia, also Vietnam and India. So the Vietnam companies are working for more like a, a technical issues, technical like uh, development. And also the Indonesia, uh, we just actually had a contract, export licensing contract. So I think the partnership will be or should be more developed as time goes by. Okay. Uh, I, I see that uh, your your product has only uh, Korean and uh, English. Uh, do, do you plan to, you know, have my Vietnamese person at your product? Oh, we provide both Korean and English at the moment. Yep. So, uh, uh, could you share? Uh, could you share with me that uh, what uh, Minglecon has done so far? I'm sorry. Uh, what Minglecon has done so far? Can you share with us? Uh, has done so far. Yeah. Uh, okay. So as I mentioned, uh, I showed the slide. Uh, share the slide. So we did some like uh, the users. Uh, nearly 300,000 uh, thousand users so far and uh, global export licensing. And, and and also we are trying to uh, build up international network. This is, we are doing also, we have to do more. Yeah. Okay. I see that the, your uh, strategic goal is uh, very uh, ambitious uh, like you, you want to take up uh, uh, um, like you want to take up one one point or one percent of entire headcake gamification oh, yes market by 2023 so um uh, what are you planning to to reach that target 
Yeah, thank you uh, for asking. Actually, this is not very easy for a startup to reach the goals, but we intended to take up the market 0.01% of gamification, healthcare gamification, to reach Uh, we need to advance our subscription model. And also, as I mentioned, in the beginning, we started a teens market, but now the market needs uh, uh, teens and also the teens with disabled, disability children, also senior healthcare centers. So we want to uh, do some market segmentation. And also we needed to upgrade in the value chain processes. So if we can do uh, some processes like this, I think we are, we are sure to uh, reach the goals. We are trying and also we are uh, really looking forward to uh, having uh, partners, uh, international partners, uh, particularly in Vietnam. Okay. Yes. Uh, I, I see that uh, you want to you know, raise your capital in the second round of uh, calling for mm. investment. How's you all doing with that? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, thank you. It was very interesting because it was uh, right after uh, Started business. I did a lot of IR days and demo days. You know, long because it's a start of uh, I by myself as a CEO is kind of a tool for improve for doing some promotion or also marketing. So if there are some chances for me to introduce Mingo Count company, I did try. I think over 100 times to show uh, introduce what Mingo Count is doing, what kind of services we have. So on the, during the IR demo days, one of the investors, I think, thought it's pretty interesting. Also, they thought the Mikocon has a potential. That's why I had a chance to have uh, first, to secure first round of funding. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alex, do you have any questions? <laughs> Oh, uh, long. I have a question. Uh, yeah. Do you think it's very, uh, the Mingle Board AI is yeah. very attractive to the people in Vietnam? I really want to have some chance to uh, export or to let people uh, are aware of Mingle Board AI in Vietnam. Yeah, I, I really want to, you know, um, to write an article on your service. Yes. So uh, our custom, uh, our, our Vietnamese people can 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 try your service uh, but uh, uh, as you know it still uh, has only uh, korean and english so uh, uh, i don't know if, if uh, how they can try your service oh, okay uh, can you try online to some type uh, can, uh, so we have like a uh, <clears throat> go ahead long yeah so just tell me the way to you know try your product even yeah, if it's, it's in the uh, elite version so. so you can i mean the people in vietnam they can free download from google app store and also we have a pc apps and mobile applications and also okay. we have the animation so maybe i hopefully uh, be, because mingle with ai is not for only for studying this is for pro improving problem solving skills so everybody needs to live smart long, right? So I really want uh, some, really want the people in Vietnam have some chances to practice, to enjoy Mingo with AI. So maybe after this interview, hopefully you can get some more information uh, from me. I can send you more details. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome to send me Thank your you. information. Thank you, Long. That's interesting to hear because I then didn't think about the possibility of using the problem solving part of the application to study English or to practice your own English as well. And I wonder what level of English many Vietnamese school children have. Uh, because but actually, that would be Alex, this is yeah. not Mingo AI. It's not for practicing English. This is for like a problem solving game. Application. Correct. Right. Now, but to problem solve, they have to understand English. Correct. So I'm saying like uh, uh, Long just mentioned, we provide the, the language in Korean and English, but mm -hmm. the people in Vietnam, uh, other the CEOs and just men, uh, they told me they don't need a Vietnamese language because 
most of uh, the by end users want to uh, read and practice English instead of uh, the local language, the mother right. tongue. That's why we didn't um, support the Vietnamese language. But if if it's very popular in Vietnam, maybe we have some chance to uh, put some more languages. But at the moment, we provide yeah. we support in both in Korean and English at the moment. The information that you got is correct because uh, lots of uh, Vietnamese children they want to learn in English and they mm. want to yeah so, so um, they are eager to learn English so uh, right. um, uh, learning English as a way to approach your services um, uh, is a way that I think it might work in, yes. in, in different. Right. Actually, this is called uh, in education, we say CBI, content based instruction. So if they can practice in English, but in English, they can solve our problems in English. It means they can, how to say, get uh, two eggs in uh, one hand. Alex, how to say that? Like uh, two things at one time? Uh, kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So they can practice, they can improve their problem solving skills even and in okay. English. Okay, this is we are enemy mode. We are enemy. I think that's great. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> trick trick kids into learning more English too. You know, if they're having fun, if they're enjoying the problem solving. enjoying the problem solving aspect of it. I was a teacher too for probably five or six years as well, and the, uh, I remember the students they never remembered what I taught, but they would remember instructions that I give over and over right, again. Right, right. So like that right. was a good way for them right. to learn. Right. I think I feel very lucky to have everybody here. So I can see, I can meet Alex and along, and I just can introduce uh, Mingo with AI. Even I'm staying in Korea and long is just staying in Vietnam. And yeah. I think I feel very lucky. Thank you for aving it. Thank you, uh, everything. Thank you. Uh, thank you for aving it also. Thank you uh, for long. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> thank you for sharing with us. I, I was really kind of wrapped up in like how this would work. And, and I think it's really interesting exciting especially to see you going out there with uh, a global attitude so best of luck to you and uh, i hope it works especially in vietnam thank you long please let's keep in touch <laughs> yeah yes but for sure <laughs> let's thank keep you. in touch all right well perfect <laughs> It's a, it's a great start to everything thank you so much uh, for talking about uh, minglecon and and uh Let's see if we can keep this going. Uh, thank you, Helen. But we're going to go you. ahead and uh, move on to Safeware and learn a little bit about Safeware from Jenny and see what we can uh, kind of what kind of bridges we can connect or what we can learn from Long and uh, Jenny here. So the floor is yours. Thank you for joining us. Okay, great. What? Thank you. Let me share my screen. So we're moving into a very different direction now, <laughs> I guess. Um, okay, so let me just uh, say just a couple of words about me. So my name is Jenny, as I said, and I'm here from Safeware and I'm in charge of international operations. So as you can see, I'm not Korean, I'm from Switzerland, but I've lived here for over seven years. And um, yeah, I, I am in charge <laughs> of export international sales and marketing here. So that's why I'm here today. And uh, I will just give you a brief introduction first about our company and then talk about the product that you can see here on the screen, uh, which is a wearable airbag for motorcyclists um, and which is one of our main products. So um, if I just move on to our introductory slide for the company. Um, so basically we are a developer and producer of a variety of wearable airbag products. So it's not just for motorcyclists. Uh, we also have, for example, the one, the product that you can see which is for construction site workers um, or hip protection airbag belts uh, for the elderly and so on. But the one for the motorcyclists is the one that we see the most potential for the Vietnamese market, which is why um, I'm going to introduce that product here today. So let me just start with a short background of how we got to develop this wearable airbag for motorcyclists, which is basically, if I just summarize it 
in one sentence, <laughs> the steady increase of motorcycle accidents, despite the increase in total traffic accidents. So overall traffic accidents are going down, but nevertheless, motorcycle accidents are steadily increasing. And we can see this phenomena actually in South Korea and all over the world. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, you can see the graph here. <laughs> and this graph really, as I just said, it holds uh, true in Korea, it holds true in Europe, in the US and in the rest of the Asian region as well. And especially with the recent COVID-19 crisis, we had a boom in the delivery industry, right? And there are so many more delivery workers uh, using the motorcycles, which has also contributed to a recent uh, more rapid increase in motorcycle accidents, especially in Korea. And if we look at Vietnam specifically, we can see that uh, first of all, that the fatality rate per accident is much, much higher than it is uh, compared to other Southeast Asian countries or even China or the US. And in Vietnam too, if we look at the statistics, we can see that motorcycle accidents belong to the leading <laughs> cause uh, of traffic road accidents. And thus, not just in Korea, but also in Vietnam, the need for a more safe, a safer protective gear for motorcyclists is really necessary. And this is the background against which we have started to develop um, this product. Um, so the solution um, that we have is uh, what we call, or the name <laughs> that we have come up with is the Air West. And we have basically two series right now. It's the M1 and M2 model, um, which is the, the one that you can see here on the screen is the M2 model, which we had kind of, it's kind of weird that we came up with the M2 first and then the M1. <laughs> the M1 followed, but that's how it that's how it happens. So this one is the M2 model. And how it works is that uh, basically there is a lanyard here that connects the motorcycle to the motorcyclist. And if an accident occurs and the motorcyclist is thrown from the motorcycle, this lanyard will stretch. And there's a little key ball in front here that is inside the vest. And as this key ball is pulled out, the airbag will inflate automatically and it will protect. Uh, this happens within 0.2 seconds. So it will protect your body before you hit the ground to reduce the impact of the fall. That's how it works. And uh, like I said, we have these, uh, these two models at the moment. So this is the model M2. We have used very uh, strong materials. So this is polyester and Cordura fabric, which is very durable. But we also have the mesh fabric inside so that you can use it even in, on a hot day or in a hot hot environment and it's still very breathable and permeable and uh, we also offer of course customizing if that's, that is necessary so for example in Korea um, we target mainly the delivery um, services as I said before since that is one of the main problems here so for example what we have done is having the customization for Pedare Minto, it's one of the delivery services here. So it's, it's nice and blue with the, with the logo on it. Um, and then we have the M1, the other model, which is a little bit less like a West and more like a harness, which is just a different, different design. So depending on, on your, your own <laughs> um, likings or the motorcycle that you ride as well, right? Not everything um, goes along with every bike since everyone has their own style. Um, but otherwise, the whole inflation process is the same. Uh, you can just see here uh, the specifications a little bit uh, more. Like I said, uh, it's made from polyester and Cordura fabric. This one also has Teslan inside, which is also, or is made of Teslan, which is also very durable. And one important thing is that you can reuse it. So basically here in front, you have a CO2 cartridge. Um, which will lead the airbag to inflate. And you can just exchange this cartridge and then you can reuse it over and over again, which we hope is not necessary, right? <laughs> but <laughs> just in case, um, you can definitely reuse it. And we have performed some, some tests to check of how much the impact can be actually decreased through the airbag. And uh, we have made, like, there has been none 
none, no, no test facility in Korea actually. So have, we have made this testing device in Korea along with a different um, testing facility so that we could actually test it. And at the end, uh, it showed us that the fall impact can be mitigated by up to 55.4%. So it can really, you know, of course, we cannot guarantee 100% to protect you, 100%, but at least we can make sure that a serious injury can be re reduced to just a minor injury or to we can prevent fatal accidents to just getting injured, right? So basically that's, that's the idea of the product. Um, as I said before, like you can use it, you can use it as an individual, as an individual, or also within a business. And um, I will skip this since this is more about the the professional one. But yes, we are very active overseas. Uh, we are participating in a variety of of exhibitions. We have done a lot of um, acceleration pro acceleration programs. We are also doing acceleration programs right now. Uh, we were designated as a cheapest company, which is the uh, uh, recommendation for the overseas public procurement market. And yeah, that's it basically from my side so far. <laughs> Thank you so Thanks. much, Jenny. That was really interesting. That's a really cool product. Uh, can I just before you get started, Long? I have just a yeah, quick yeah, sure, curiosity sure. question. Sure. Two questions, actually. Yes. One is that's really light. That's one kilogram. You said. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, that's. I saw. I think I saw on the slide. That was really cool. I guess that wasn't a question. My second thing. Uh, <laughs> what if I? What if I get off of the motorcycle? And I still have it on that it does that inflate? How does that work? Yeah, so we, we get that question a lot. You're not the first one to ask that. So basically, I would do that, that's why I <laughs> no, actually a force of 30 kilos has to be pull, pulled pulled mm. on the lanyard so that it inflates, just because people forget <laughs> to disconnect <laughs> themselves, right? <laughs> so we, we try to make it that that not that that does not happen. But for example, let's say you you you're sitting on the motorcycle and the motorcycle falls. So that might like in, in a standing position, right? Not in a riding position, but maybe you cannot, it's too heavy or whatever, and it falls, that might lead the airbag to inflate since the the motorcycle is really heavy, right? But if you just get off, it should not inflate actually. And okay. uh, let me just, I actually, I have it here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I will show you anyway. So this is how it looks at the part of the vest. So actually you can really connect it, re disconnect it really easily. So the lanyard is actually always yeah. at the motorcycle and you can just disconnect the, bu the buckle here, right? And then you can connect it again. So you can just open it like that and then you're disconnected. So it's not, it's not a big thing <laughs> to disconnect yourself from the motorcycle, yeah. Okay, thank you uh, for answering my question. Long, why don't you take the floor if you have any questions? Yes, Let's thank you. Um, I, I remember that I, I talked with Jenny uh, uh, from uh, ICT last year, and I, I'm really, I really like the product, you know, uh, because uh, as you know, in Vietnam, there are a lot of, lot of motorcycles, and um, we, we also have a lot of uh, uh, traffic accident, but the, the, the number of people who get in, injured and, and death in a traffic accident, uh, the, the number is always involved with uh, motorcycle, motorcycle rider. So, um, uh, so this product uh, really, really uh, uh, get my attention from the first time. So, yeah. Mm, I, I am a, a, a vivid rider. I, I ride to, to work and to uh, other places every day, so I really like it. Um, but uh, I just uh, have some, some more questions for you. Like, uh, um, uh, can, you tell, can you tell me, please, uh, uh, how it, uh, how it uh, on uh, began the idea and the product you you told me from last year that uh, uh, Iran began in Japan and 
uh, and then a leader in your in your company will get inspired by 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 the idea and uh, and he develop yeah. the, the 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 third commercial commercial product yeah. Yeah. and you can use it to tell us um so i think uh i i'm not sure if i understood correctly but yes um basically that's kind of the story of how Safeware was founded. So of course, this, yeah. this uh, product here, the background, as I said before, is just uh, because there are so many motorcycle accidents. Um, but then we have the product that I showed you on the first slide here, which is the one. So basically, this one is for construction site workers. And it's a little bit different. There's a sensor inside. And if a construction site worker who works at heights falls, the sensor will detect the fall and it will inflate the airbag automatically. So that's our main and first product. So Safeware was founded through this product, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, so there was a similar or there is a similar product in Japan as well. But the, the Japanese product, it does not protect the front. It only protects the back. And so our CEO, um, Daniel, he he was working before in the um, rescue and emergency um, area as well. And he just saw how many accidents there were on construction sites, on industrial sites in Korea. And he really thought that there should be a solution to this because even though there are safety harnesses and there, is, there are, um, I don't know, safety training and scaffolding and everything, still fatal accidents happen. And he saw that and he thought there has to be a solution to this. And that's basically how everything started. So that's how we started to produce this product and then expand it to other product lines as well, so that we could not only help construction site workers, but also, yeah, motorcyclists or the elderly who are prone to fall accidents as well. Okay. Mm, about is this, this uh, your, your first product? Uh, um, uh, what's the reaction of Korean consumer? So, do you uh, do they uh, like use this a lot for this one for the for the consumer? Yeah, yeah, one? yeah. Yes, actually, we're uh, we're dis we're distributing or we're selling the product. So that's the slide I skipped before. But we actually sell it all over Korea on the construction sites to all major um, big companies such as Samsung Construction or Hanwha, Lotte, Hyundai. Um, so we are distributing this product or selling the product all over the country. Um, and actually, last year. So two years ago, the usage of smart devices became mandatory on public construction sites and last year on private construction sites. So that helped us a lot. So basically, usually it's just like the smart safety helmets that were used on the construction sites. But with this law, um, the, our sales increased a lot, right? Since construction sites, they have this incentive or they have the government um, government what's that order <laughs> to use these kind of products right so that has helped us a lot with the increase of our sales and with our distribution in korea but uh this product has a sensor system so it's like more more likely it's more more complex than the, the version that you want to introduce to the Vietnamese market right uh so uh, the one of the reasons so far, actually, we're not exporting uh, the construction site one, and there are two. Like the one of the reasons, the 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 biggest reason why we're not exporting so far is that for this model to exchange the cartridges in the back, it has to be sent back to us, and we have to exchange it. So. Mm -hmm. And the exchange of the cartridge is not that easy. So we cannot just sell it to a seller or export it to a seller overseas since they do not have the knowledge of how to exchange the cartridges, right? And if something is done wrong here, it will not, it will not inflate in the case of an accident. So that's one of the main concerns. And we're actually now making a new model of which the prototype is to be released by the end of September, where the exchange will be possible by anyone. So that will make it much easier and that will make it possible for us to export this product as well. But 
Uh, one of the other concerns for us for uh, the Southeast Asian market in general is the price for this one. Uh, actually, even in Korea, <laughs> we hear a lot that it's too expensive. <laughs> so, um, which is, I mean, considering, <laughs> considering that it saves a life, right? Basically, it should not be seen as too expensive. If an accident happens, if you go to the hospital, the costs will be much higher for the treatment than just buying one product. But um, the, the companies, they do not want to spend that much money on, uh, on just one West, right? If they are not that concerned with the safety of their workers. So this one right now is sold at a price of $950, um, which... Yeah, you can reuse it, right? So you can reuse it over and over again, but this is still one of the concerns as well that we have price-wise, um, which is which is just because, because the sensor technology is inside. If this one, that would be the same for the motorcyclist one. That's why we can make the motorcyclist airbag um, with the sensor technology, just for it to be cheaper and more affordable for actually more people. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, I see that uh, is, uh, last year you have only uh, M2 version and now you have M1. Um, so um, do you uh, put your, your product into Vietnam or it's just a prototype? Uh, um, so far we, are, we have not. Um, we are not exporting yet, but actually one of the changes that happened since we last spoke is that we shifted our production pro uh, our production process from the factory in Korea to a factory in Vietnam, oh. which would make it much easier now to sell it in Vietnam, right? Since the product will be already there. So um, that definitely made it easier. And we could also, now we could go down with the price even further, thanks to the production in Vietnam, which will also be a great help, I think, to the export in Vietnam. Uh, can, you, can you explain more about the difference between the two of us? Because uh, uh, ah. I uh, hear it clearly. In the... um, actually, there's not, there's not much of a difference. It's really just the design. And this one, um, this one is, is uh, it's a little cheaper, not because it's worse, but because there is there is less fabric, less right? Material. It's just the harness. It's just the harness which makes it cheaper. Um, but basically, the only the only difference is the design and the fabric use. Actually, this one has an even stronger fabric than the M1, like I said, be, uh, the M2, like I said before. So here we have the Teslan um, fabric inside as well, which is really really durable and really strong, even stronger than polyester. Um, but that's the only difference. And it's a little lighter from the weight as well, since there is less fabric, right? But otherwise it works exactly the same as the M2. Uh, Tesland is a kind of a Kevlar or, or, or can you tell me about the material, Tesland? Uh, the Tesland? Yes, it's, it's um, so, Basically, what we had before, what I told, what I talked to you about last year, were these two products, right? So actually, here we added this reflective film as well, since this was also a concern that you might not see it in the dark if it's all black. So from all black, we changed, we added this reflective film, and here we were using Cordura fabric for this one, which is also a very durable product. I think it's 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 five times or six times stronger than polyester. And Tesla is the same. It's a very, very strong and very um, durable uh, fabric, just as Cordura as well. Yeah. One more question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the you know, uh, Vietnamese people has a lax attitude towards safety, so it's quite hard to convince them to use uh, safety equipment and, and your equipment. Uh, um, so, uh, do you have any plan to, you know, show your product and benefit of your product so they can be convinced and, and use your product? 
yeah or something like that exactly that is definitely also another concern i mean um not just in vietnam right actually everywhere i don't know if you're following the news but um another product that we're now in development of is a vest for the e-scooters and there are so many accidents with the e-scooters lately it just today um we saw the news of two guys on one e-scooter and they were riding and they were you could see it they were hit by the car and they were thrown away and just like that they were not using a helmet right even though it's mandatory in korean to use the helmet and we do not know yet if they survived that or not if you look at the video it's really it's really scary you get goosebumps if you see that and almost every day we can see the news of um of accidents like that happening and people not wearing the helmets, even though, of course, it's much safer. So it's really hard, I think, to change people's minds. And especially with a helmet, it's like, uh, I did my hair, I do not want to wear a helmet or something like that. It doesn't look good or whatever. And I think um, with a good marketing strategy, actually using a vest could be even easier um, to convince people than using a helmet right because of that problem so for example there's always there's also this kind of neck thing from hofting from the swedish company for um bicycle right for bicyclists bicyclists <laughs> bicyclists i don't know the word <laughs> for bicycle riders and it will also inflate over your head like that right um and that's also people people are annoyed they do not want to wear the helmet right so i think maybe wearing a vest could be a little more agreeable to some people. But then again, we have the hot weather, right? Um, people complaining that it's too hot, whatever. But I think with a good marketing strategy, definitely one of the first things that, have to, that has to be done is to increase the consciousness about safety. That's one of the first steps, because if people do not think that this is necessary, it's hard to sell the product in the end, right? Um, so that's definitely something that has to be looked at. And I think um, if we can work together with a Vietnamese uh, distributor or seller, because they will know the market best, right? We, we do not know Vietnam as well as a, as a Vietnamese person, just as they will not know the Korean market that well. So in, in cooperation with the Vietnamese company, I think um, with the right marketing strategy, we can definitely, for a first step, raise the awareness on the importance of safety, and that will help us um, to, to actually sell the product in Vietnam. Um, um, one, one more small question. Where is your uh, factory in Vietnam, and uh, where, where do you plan to, to sell your product? In a uh, large city? Or... Uh, where, where the company is? Uh, what is your, your, your production uh, uh, plan, you know? Uh, the production your, your, plan? So, uh, yes, so we're, get, uh, we're still in the certification process, actually. So as soon as we get the cert, actually, we will get the result this week. <laughs> so mm -hmm. any day now, <laughs> we will be ready. When we get the certification, that's when we will start. Uh, we, I think we have, we have scheduled the, uh, the production of some large quantities by September. So we will go into, into production very, very soon. Um, and um, yes, we will go into production very soon, but we definitely want to have the certification first. Like, for, for any market that we enter, even though it's a European, we're getting the C certification, so it's a European certification, but still just for the safety of everyone, it's really important to have the certification first. So we will have to get the certification and that's when we will um, actually go into the export and selling, uh, selling stage. Thank you. I uh, definitely went by one when it appeared on the market. <laughs> Great, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that exchange. Um, I have so many questions that we don't have time for, but it is interesting. I was trying to be smart and look up statistics on the phone from the uh, kickboard, they call it kickboards here, right? The scooters. Yeah. And uh, the, I think the saddest thing is that the first thing I typed in was kickboard and then Google auto translated or auto filled to kickboard the uh, sago, which means kickboard mm -hmm. accident. And I was like, wow, that's, 
because I see it all the time, two people on it. And I just think this is, this is not going to end well. So, uh, yeah, I don't, for, I don't know if you saw the, the two girls on the Olympic, uh, Olympic group, <laughs> they were on the street of the cars without yeah, a helmet. I mean, I cannot believe it. Yeah. I, it's, uh, well, I mean, all those products sound amazing. Uh, and of course, best of luck specifically starting with, uh, the motorcycle get up the gear hopefully that goes well with vietnam thank you thank you all right we are wrapping it up with our final company right now we're going to go to mr mind i'll be doing a little bit of a uh, translation the best i can but i did see these slides earlier the slides are in english uh, and i think it explains a lot about what he's going to say so let's go ahead and get started and uh, if you can uh go ahead this is uh, Kim Dong Wan, who is the CEO of Mr. Mind. All right. So here's, I'm going to switch it over here just a second. I'm going to be speaking off camera uh, for the translation part of it. Um, but why don't we go ahead and set up over here? And I will let him get going. Hello, everyone. Oh, one second here. No. Got my... Okay, let's see if this is working. Phone will use MacBook Air. Okay, uh, can you hear us? Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Kim Dong Won for Mr. Mind CEO. Yep. 오늘 이렇게 만나 뵙게 돼서 반갑습니다. It's uh, great to be here and meet everyone and he's uh, happy to be here. Yes. Okay, so we're going to me pull this up quickly. Get it on to Please give me 20 seconds of background technical expertise that I'm pretending to have. Uh, let's see. All right, we'll go ahead and get started uh, and uh, take it away. Yep. 저희는 인공지능 자연어 처리 기술로 어르신의 마음을 훔치고 있는 스타트업 미스터 마인드라고 합니다. 어, 그 시니어 분들이 가장 걸리기 싫어하는 질병 중에 하나가 치매이고 이 치매와 연관해서 우울증과 자살이 동반되는 아주 어, 심각한 사회 문제고. 어, 현상으로 발생되고 있습니다. 그런데 이세 가지의 질병은 하나의 솔루션이 있으면 모든 것들이 해결된다. So this company is kind of started on the premise that these are some of the issues that the elderly populations deal with uh, and they are looking for they were looking for a solution uh, for these issues of depression, Alzheimer's as well as suicide rates. 예, 그 솔루션은 지금 보시는 같이 말동무라는 친구 한 명이라도 존재를 한다면 우울증이나 치매, 자살을 예방할 수 있습니다. Just as you read in the slide, even having one friend to talk to can help with the prevention of dementia, depression, and suicide. 그래서 저희는 인공지능 자연어 처리 기술로 어르신들과 대화가 가능한 말동무 인형을 제작을 했습니다. Uh, and so we have a, an AI companion robot as a senior healthcare solution that we're going to be, as you may have seen earlier, yep. as he was uh, holding it up. It is not this teddy bear at the moment, but currently. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me quickly stop screen share to give you a look at this. Yeah. Uh, what is what is her name? Uh, her name is Torongi. Uh, Torongi, yeah. which is kind of, it kind of means like uh, dazzling eyes or like sparkling or dazzling. And I guess that's from Torongi, yeah. for the eyes, right? 
Okay, we'll go back to the screen share right now. This student has taught for 2 years in the past 120,000,000 years. So, if you taught in the past, you can do it in 10 or 6 minutes. So, you can see kind of the statistics here, but in a conversation, the uh, AI robot function can speak anywhere from you know, six to ten different sen words per yeah. sentence or per command. 그리고 이 친구는 기본적으로 LT 통신을 통해 그 통신을 하고요. 그리고 치매나 우울증, 자살을 예방할 수 있는 컨텐츠와 기능으로 구성되어 있습니다. Uh, it also uses uh, LTE technology. Uh, as part of the ways to uh, link this, link the, um, well, I guess we'll talk about it in a second, but to link the doll or the animal with uh, services that will eventually help with the reduction of those diseases we mentioned before. 그리고 이 친구는 크게 이제 그 인형, 그리고 돌봄 그 앱, 보호자들이 보는 어플리케이션 그리고 그 기관에서 보는 간제 솔루션 크게 세 가지로 구성이 되어 있습니다. Um, okay, and uh, these are the three solutions that are a part of the what they are offering. 그리고 현재 저희가 그 공공기관에 이그 돌봄 로봇을 제공을 하고 있는데 저희가 공공 돌봄에서 어 많은 그 매출을 일으키는 원인이 일단 인공지능 학습을 지자 그 공공기관에 맞춰서 별, 별도로 저희가 만들 수 있고요. 그리고 한국에 있는 공공기관들은 지자체들은 자기들만의 캐릭터가 있습니다. 그래서 실제로 원하는 캐릭터로 커스터마이징이 가능하다는 것. 그리고 기본적으로 치매 우울증 같은 진단을 할수 있는 인공지능 알고리즘이 탑재가 되어 있어서 현재 대기업도 그 해결하지 못하는 문제를 저희 미스터 마인드가 해결하고 있습니다. Uh, so Mr. Mind the company has these features that we're talking about including ones that uh, what's interesting they can be used with the government and it can be a way for the government to communicate with people. Uh, it can be used you can have a character designed from the government or from a, like a local government organization like say the Olympics there's always a character right? Um, but uh, using the characters as well as their AI-based prediction algorithm, they're also able to predict any uh, potential diseases that may come about and also use their big data uh, in ways, again, we'll probably talk about in just a moment. 그리고 실제로 저희 인행에만 있는 기능 중에 그 NFC 그 알고리즘을 이용한 인지 카드 기능이 있습니다. 이, 이것들은 기본적으로 컨텐츠를 그 이용할 때 사용하는 그 카드인데요. 어, 실제로 OX 카드 같은 경우는 문진표, 그러니까 치매나 우울증, 자살을 조기에 진단할 수 있는 문진표가 탑재가 되어 있어서 어르신들은 어, 일상 대화 퀴즈를 풀면서 자연스럽게 우울증이나 치매 그리고 자살을 예방할 수 있는 문진표를 작성을 하게 되어 있습니다. We'll show you these cards in just a bit in real life, but you can see them down there at the bottom left hand corner. Uh, these are cards that can be used to detect abnormal symptoms of the diseases, dementia, de um, of dementia, depression, uh, suicide as well. 그리고 어, 이 기능은 실제로 저희가 이제 B2C 모델에 탑재될 주요 기능인데요. 어, 쉽게 말하면 이탈, 이탈리아 할아버지와 한국의 할머니를 저희 돌돌이를 통해서 어, 소개팅을 시켜줄 수 있는 기능이 되겠습니다. They also have the technology and the ability to actually kind of set up a, I'm going to call it so getting like a blind date almost. I mean, really blind. You can't see because you're using uh, the dolls or the uh, stuffed animals to have a conversation. And this internet based voice chat would allow a conversation between someone from, let's say, uh, an older person from Italy and uh, an older person from Korea to have a conversation, a kind of a slight relationship, if you will, uh, friendship that can be uh, set up through their technology. Yeah. 실제로 이 기능이 활성화만, 활성화만 된다면 
저 시니어 그러니까 전 세계 시니어를 하나의 SNS 플랫폼으로 어, 만들 수가 있어서 이것들은 글로벌 기업인 구글, 페이스북도 하지 못한 그런 어, 비즈니스를 펼칠 수 있을 거라 저는 생각합니다. You could even see the potential of having a global senior social networking service that arises from the functions, uh, the functionality of their services. So, the first one is the government in the Mapo Guchung in the Silchero, Sangyol Tungan, Jaga Sayongja, the Ray Data, Bigur in the day, Chigan Boshen Gachi. 지속적으로 대화를 하고 있습니다. And this particular slide is talking about what they are or where they are testing. Actually, that's where I live. That in Mapogu, which is in Seoul, kind of the north uh northwestern part of Seoul there. Uh and about 400 people are have been using this and testing this service uh or did the test for about 10 months from March of 2021 until December of 2021. Yeah. And you can see some of the the statistics that they have up here as well that they've connect, connected because it is a big data company or it collects data yeah. uh, that can be used for anal analysis. 그리고 어 저희 비즈니스와 유사한 비즈니스가 인공지능 스피커를 통한 어떤 그 대기업들의 인공지능 스피커와 비슷한데 실제로 지금 보시는 같이 어 우리 그 돌봄 노부대에는 어르신들의 어떤 감정을 표현할 수 있는 그런 다양한 uh, you can see kind of the um, the words that are often that are used most often by the the conversations between the uh, AI robot and the uh, the seniors as well. And just for a quick, I, I think most of you out there can read Korean, but just quickly, some of the key words seems to be uh, talk, I love you, hello, what are you doing? Uh, worries as well, because it's not just about, um, it's not, we talked about this a little bit before, yeah. uh, before we started this, but, you know, part of it is giving the elderly population a chance to be honest and to talk about their worries and something that they wouldn't necessarily tell their family, they might actually confide with their doll in. So it has, uh, this is just kind of now a uh, word collage of commonly used words in those conversations. 그리고 실제로 저희가 그한 달에 한 번씩 리포트를 제공을 하는데요. 지금 보시는 같이 평균 그 대화를 하루에 100 마디 이상 지금 하고 있다라는 게 이제 그 리포트를 통해서 나오고요. 실제로 이런 어 인게이지먼트를 유지하는 그 국내의 돌봄 로봇은 존재하지 않습니다. 네. Uh, again, so kind of in the slide that you're looking at right now has all the information and the data in here. Although I'm, I'm actually am surprised at how much uh, it's more than seventy percent of seniors use the bot every day. Uh, it does seem like a yeah. that, that's a social media site because yeah. social media sites you use it every single day. 그리고 저희가 지금 그 3년 동안 지금 이 서비스를 운영을 하고 있는데 현재 어 서른여섯 군데의 가구분들가 지금 이용을 하고 있고 팔천사백 개 정도 저희가 납품을 했습니다. 그리고 연말까지 저희의 목표는 2만 대 정도 예상을 하고 있습니다. So currently there has been uh, 8,400 in sales, but the goal by the end of this year will be to hit 20,000 yeah. in sales uh, for the public in Korea working with the local government. And you can see some of the locations there on the right hand side as well. Are you going to piss? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 저희... 예, 비즈니스 모델은 기본적으로 셀 한, 판매가 판매를 하는 것과 렌탈을 하는 두 종류가 있는데요. 판매를 하게 되면 88만 원에 월 2만 2천 원을 이제 지, 지불하는 비, 비즈니스 모델이 있고 그리고 또 다른 렌탈 모델은 월 6만 6천 원에 2년 약정을 하게 되면 됩니다. And here are two of the price plans that they offer. The first one is the total price of 880,000 Korean won, which it changes every day, but I feel like that's around 700 720 US dollars um currently based on the exchange rate and then the rental price here is 66,000 Korean won which um, is probably around 50 51 US dollars 
uh, for a monthly rental price for it with a two year commitment, kind of like a phone plan right there. 사실 저희가 최종적으로 목표하고 있는 것들은 치매를 예측하는 알고리즘을 개발하는 건데요. 실제로 여러분들이 우리 그 돌봄 로봇하고 대화를 하다가 병원에 갔는데 치매 확정이 된 겁니다. 그러면 1년치의 대화 내용들이 하나의 케이스로 저장이 되고요. 이후에 제가 그 돌봄 로봇을 사용하고 있는데 여기 심사 여권하고 동일한 대화가 20% 나왔다. 그러면 제가 6개월 후에 치매 걸릴 확률이 20%가 되는 겁니다. 현재 치매는 치유할 수 있는 약이 존재하지 않습니다. 그래서 가장 중요한 것은 치매 이상 증후군을 가장 빨리 어, 발견을 해서 지연시키고 연장시키는 게 가장 훌륭한 솔루션인데 저희가 데이터를 빅데이터를 어, 수집을 한다면 머지 않은 시간에 치매를 예측할 수 있는 인공지능으로 거듭날 수 있을 거라고 생각합니다. And uh, you're working with Seoul National University Hospital yeah. on this one, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is just talking about how they'll be able to potentially predict the early, well, to recognize early onset dementia and um, predict the possibility of someone's of someone having dementia in the future by looking at the conversations that are being had or the, uh, as you mentioned, the cards, using the cards and the games that were being played. Um, so it becomes a prediction model using big data. Um, and this is showing that they've got the certifications and. Uh, 실제로 제가 이 비즈니스를 하게 된 계기가 어 저희 어머니가 이 친구한테 저한테는 하지 않는 말을 하는 것을 발견을 했어요. 제가 처음에 이 제품을 만들어서 저희 부모님한테 자랑을 하러 갔어요. 근데 당신이 무릎 아프다는 얘기를 저한테는 안 하고 이 우리 친구한테는 하는 거예요. 그래서 아 그렇다면 그것들을 분석을 한다면 우리 어머니를 조금 더 행복하게 해드릴 수 있겠구나라고 해서 저희가 사업을 시작을 했는데 저희는 거창한 비전은 없습니다. 우리 어르신들이 하루에 세번 이상 웃게 해줄 수 있는 그래서 인공지능이라는 기술이 인류를 행복해질 수 있다면 충분히 도전해 볼 가치가 있다고 생각해서 지금 열심히 어, 사명을 가지고 어, 사업을 운영하고 있습니다. Uh, so you just gave a personal story. Uh, you gave it to your mother. Yep. You gave it to your mother, uh, who will say something to the to the stuffed animal or to the doll that maybe wouldn't say directly. You know, uh, I, I think it was I'm proud. Yeah. Right of it that wouldn't say to. Sometimes it's hard to and say things to your children or your grandchildren, but if you say it to the doll. Um, there's some great functionality that maybe he'll talk about in a second uh, about how that works and how you can actually learn about things that are said by uh, grandparents. But yeah, I, I think there's a, a lot of potential in this product. And he mentioned also the ability to just make someone laugh a couple times a day uh, and to kind of provide emotional uh, support as well. And so that's basically it for the slide of the presentation. Why don't we go ahead and yeah. take a look at the uh, Doll itself is. See if it's here. Chorongi. Yeah. yeah, her name is Chorongi. This 친구는 크게 그 대화하기 버튼, 아니 놀이 버튼이 있고 이렇게 대화 대화 버튼이 있습니다. Yeah, so basically, uh, you have on this side a play button, and the other one is have a conversation conversation button. Yeah. 대화를 하려면 말씀하세요. 너 이름이 뭐야? 저는 어르신들의 절친 초롱이라고 합니다. Uh, so first, uh, please speak is what she said. What's your name? And then she responded. 말씀하세요. 오늘 날씨가 어때? 경기도 성남시 날씨는 하늘의 양떼처럼 구름이 지나가고 있어요. Oh, that's basically kind of like a one of those uh, speakers uh, from the other big companies, but that just gave us the weather of where we are right now. Turn on drop music.
course, one of the most popular music genres in Korea for the elderly population is trot music, a very Korean type of music. I would call it traditional Korean, modern traditional Korean music. And it's a true false game right now with X's and O's that the uh, person can play. I missed the question, but that's the wrong answer. <laughs> <웃음> 그런데 여기에 이제 문진표가 들어가 있어가지고 어르신들은 키조 푼다고 생각하는데 자기도 모르는 사이에 우울증이나 치매, 아. 자살 문, 그, 그 문진을 받게 되는 겁니다. Mm, so you can actually get some information from them taking this test. The uh, elderly people will not know that this information is being collected, but it could show signs of early dementia or even the potential for suicide. Yeah. 실제로 이 친구는 그 6개월 된 손자 컨셉이고요. 그래서 지금 어르신들이 이렇게 손자를 안듯이 그 보면서 어 대화를 하는 그런 컨셉이 되겠습니다. 그래서 실제로 어르신들이 어 상당히 사랑을 하고 있는 존재가 됩니다. 참고로 이런 그, 그 로봇은 전 세계적으로 저희만 할수 있습니다. <웃음> Uh, so this design is based on the idea of a granddaughter, basically a grandchild, and uh, to give the the appearance of having a conversation with your grandchild as a um, as a grandmother or a grandfather, uh, and this is one of a kind that what they have the technologies to uh, to make this happen. 그리고 이제 실제로 저희가 그 인공지능 스피커와 다르게 그이 친구만의 그 기능이 있는데요. 그 기능 중에 하나가 아바타 톡이라는 기능입니다. 보호자가 어플리케이션에서 텍스트를 치면 얘가 캐릭터 목소리로 전달을 합니다. 제가 그걸 시연을 한번 해 보도록 하겠습니다. 아바타 톡 준비해 주세요. Uh, we're about to test something where this has the ability for the person the caretaker or someone to input into their text messaging service that they have here uh, without the elderly person knowing a message that they want to send to their grandmother or their grandfather or mother or father uh, in the voice of the actual doll itself. And so we're going to do a quick little test in a second as we pull up the app to, this is, uh, it's going off screen behind the computer right now, but we're going to be sending a message to the doll and that doll will then uh, just relay the message to the grandmother or grandfather. 실제로... 그 의도된 질문을 하면 의도된 답이 나옵니다. 그그 그 말은 무슨 말이냐면 제가 얼마 전에 그 바나나가 고혈압에 좋다라는 정보를 TV 방송에서 봤어요. 그래서 이 친구를 통해서 어르신 바나나가 고혈압에 좋대요. 바나나 많이 드세요라고 이야기를 했더니 어르신들이 아 바나나 사야겠다. 바나나 먹어야겠다라고 대답을 하는 거예요. 그래서 실제로 저희가 이커머스 그러니까 바나나를 배달하는 테스트를 했는데 실제로 이것들이 보급만 많이 된다면 어, 마케팅에 아주 좋은 툴로 어, 사용할 거라고 믿습니다. 그러면 저희가 그 여러분들에게 아바타톡으로 인사를 한번 하겠습니다. Yeah, very quickly just to uh, translate what he just said. Basically. This can also be used as a reminder to the elderly person that uh, a reminder to eat bananas by saying something that is on TV, like bananas are high in potassium or something like that. Uh, and there you also now see the potential of marketing to, you know, to sell bananas from a particular marketing site. So we're going to, I don't even know what he's putting in, but he's going to input the text right now that's going to be coming in from the application and going to the doll. Hello, I'm artificial eye intelligence care doll. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Hello, I am currently using the Korean language because uh, that is the language that is speaking, but uh, using the phonetics of the Korean language to speak English here. Thank you. Yep.
Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Um, why don't we quickly go ahead and move on? Long, if you have any questions, um, why don't we get started? And I have a few myself, but why don't you go first? And uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, your uh, product is uh, very impressive. Uh, I, I can see that uh, it can detect uh, depression and, and suicide. Uh, how can uh, your product uh, do that? Can you explain more about that? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, maybe I can explain it because I didn't give as much as uh, an ex explanation here. I could, could, I 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 어 일곱 문제 이상 어, 틀리면 그분은 이제 치매가 확정이 되는 거죠. Ah, uh, so there is a global standard that is being used. Um, I think he, I'm, I'm not. My Korean isn't perfect to get the exact translations of what he says, but basically, uh, if there's uh, ten questions that are asked and ten basic questions that are asked according to the global standard, and eight of them are wrong, that would be an indication of uh, dementia. So using global standards um, that are defined in the medical field to determine these things. And, and I can see that uh, the drone is uh, heavily customized for Korean market. So uh, if you want to, to move on the uh, uh, market, so what's your plan? To, because you know, you use uh, um, uh, you big data and you, you uh, a lot of conversations. You know, I think that a lot of work if, if you plan to, 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 to put your product into Vietnamese market. Uh, 해야 하신 거 엄청 많이 겠다고 하는데 그 베트남 시장에 어떻게 들어갈 수 있는 그 목표 아니 어떻게 하지 설명해 주세요. 현재 저희가 글로벌 마켓은 그 북미를 선두로 해서 이제 동남아시아까지 지금 생각을 하고 있고요. 어 저희가 글로벌 마켓을 조사를 해 보니까 한국 어르신이나 베트남 어르신은 동일한 감성을 가지고 그 대화를 하더라고요. 그렇지만 이제 가장 중요한 게 문화가 있기 때문에 그 문화를 학습시키는 게 저희의 이제 가장 큰 강점인데 그것들은 어 베트남의 현지화에 있는 파트너를 구해서 저희가 어 베트남의 제품화를 어 진출할 예정이 있습니다. 그래서 저희가 2023년도 내년 하반기에는 그 글로벌 쪽으로 진출을 할 예정이 있습니다. 내년 하반기? 예, yeah. 2023. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so there's plans to expand by 2023 of next year. There, what he said was they've done a lot of research and found out that through surveys, a lot of the expressions that are used, uh, you know, people have the same older people in Vietnam and Korea and all around the world have the same kind of emotions and ways they express things. There are some cultural difference, differences, which he acknowledges. And because of that, that's he is looking for um, a partnership in Vietnam that can help bridge that gap because uh, obviously through language alone, you can't bridge the gap and they would be looking for looking for a partnership in v Vietnam to help with that. Uh, I think that um, Vietnam has a young uh, population, but um, uh, we also face with the pro problem of, uh, you know, lonely uh, elderly. Uh, when the children, they move uh, to a city to get a job and, and the elderly, uh, they have to stay back and uh, they don't have anything to make friends with. So I think the potential for your product is uh, quite good. but. Uh, the price, the price is really high, right? Am I am I right? So you you aim, you you main target maybe uh, the government agency and and, and not to uh, single uh, personal use. Is, is it uh, right? Yeah. 그 일단은 금액적인 부분은 걱정을 안 하셔도 되는 게 저희가 이제 연말에 한 200억 정도 투자가 예정이 돼 있어서 
어, 초기에 그 조자가 유치가 된다면 제작 비용이 다운이 되기 때문에 글로벌로 갈 때는 저희가 생각할 때 현지 현지 어, 달러로 한 월에 만원 정도 생각하고 있습니다. 네. Uh, so once investment comes in, 언제 지금이라고 하죠? 어, 2000, 2023년 하반기. Okay. So um, once they're uh, they're able to put their investment to use, they're actually going to be improving the efficiency of their productions. Uh, and with that efficiency in production, the cost of that uh, the dolls will actually go down quite a bit. Uh, and so that's why, for the moment, he said, um, I, I, this isn't the right translation because it doesn't express the right emotion, but don't worry about it for now uh, because there is going to be a reduction in the price because of their investment in the production side of this, uh, the doll and AI technology. Um, yeah, can you, uh, I, I have um, one small question about the Q character of your dolls. Uh, I mean, uh, do, do you aim to produce a you know, cute dolls right from the start, or why don't you choose something like more serious, more you know, formal? And not, uh, why, why the Q character? Why Q character? First of all, the children, the parents, like the parents, like the parents, like the parents, like the parents, 아이보다는 손녀를 더 좋아하더라고요. 그래서 이제 기본 모델은 이제 손녀 형태가 캐릭터 나온 거고요. 그리고 그 할아버지들이 아이들하고 공통점이 있는데 아이들이나 어르신들은 잘생기고 이쁜 캐릭터를 좋아합니다. Uh, basically because the focus of the market currently is with older people choosing the uh, grandchild image was kind of the no brainer here. Because it's you know something that not only people, of course around the world would be interested or, or I guess more affectionate to would be the right word. And so we talked about it earlier, and this is not from his translation, but um, the ability for the older person to honestly speak to the character is an important part of their business model. Uh, so then that'll you know receive data to help people determine if there's a high risk of suicide or dementia or depression with the people. And so having a cute character that the older person can feel affection to and almost feel like maybe maybe a pet. I don't, he didn't use these words, but I'm just trying to give my own. Maybe something that you would feel affection to as if it were your own grandchild. Um, that's an important part of getting this data from the older uh, people who are using this. Uh just one uh, more question. So uh, I, I see that you can uh, customize your doll, uh, the appearance. So uh, can, can you make your doll uh, after a real person, you know, like a child, a child, and uh, a grandchild? So uh, the, the effect might be more like more effective. Mm. Uh, good. 이, 이게 만들었는데 그 진짜 손자처럼 손자 보이는 모습으로 만들 수 있나? 아, 오늘 그래도 <웃음> 알렉스가 그런 아이디를 줘서 실제로 그렇게 구현을 할 예정입니다. Uh, he just said I before we started this conversation I asked him the same question. Uh, and uh, yes, he's it is it's possible to do and they are actually going to look into it. Yeah. So yes. <웃음> 알렉스가 <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Um, really appreciate it. And I, I think we covered a lot of information here and uh, especially about Mr. Mind, the, the product. Uh, you have to add the I, the E at the end of it to make it a, a cuter Korean name. And there's a lot of other functionality as well. <laughs> The, the doll just burped uh, from the application. They send the burp and in order to, and then the doll just said, uh, can you pat me on the back? Because I've got a burp. It can burp. It can, f are you doing more right now? If we do one more. I think there's, there's like, there's three total. Burp is one of them.
sih. Pukurong ka ba? Oh, he's sending the function now. Tiyo, mga sunggo lo ako siya. Pwong ka kaya siya? Okay, okay. Kande, kande. Ah. Kasi kande ko ba? Ah, so, one of the ones that uh, you're not going to see here is the doll can also cry, correct? So the doll can cry and uh, then basically the uh, the it's an indication for the older person to hold the doll uh, to keep it from crying more. Now, the last one, uh, the, the Wi-Fi here is a little bit slow and that's why we're trying to give you the grand finale right now. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, Silteru, Chega Samyan, your Chegan Sangyol Tungan, Yairo Tungesa, Urushini, Chukushitaran and Guru, Kanjeres, Nebun, Silteru Kemunuro, Isong Shikun, Data to Equa, Kurigo, Unjim Pioro Tungesa, Chime Ultung, Isangjunga, Urushin, Pashi Palmen. That was a very serious conversation. Yeah, it was a very serious conversation. Yeah, it was a very serious conversation. You're going to cutely accept the fact that I farted. Yeah, that was the middle of a serious conversation. But <laughs> one more, one more. Let's see if we can get it back in one more time. <laughs> uh, please say it's okay that I farted. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> um, what was interesting right before the interruption was he was mentioning that four yeah. people, had, the data from four people was actually sent to hospitals uh, for older people who had the indications of potentially wanting to commit suicide. Yeah. And so that information was actually in the last three months sent to hospitals and uh, the, 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 the yeah. and they became patients um, by, uh, because of that, they were moved to the hospital because of that reason at all. So they have real life uh, examples now of how this can be used to help prevent suicide. Uh, 아주 똑똑한 스트롱한 인공지능을 개발하고 있는데 그러, 그렇기 때문에 많은 사람들이 인공지능에 대해서 두려움을 갖고 있어요. 그런데 저희는 조금 그 기술적으로는 한계가 있지만 이런 어, 감정을 서로 소, 그, 소통할 수 있는 인공지능을 통해서 인공지능이라는 기술이 인류에 도움이 되는 그것들을 증명하고 싶어서 지금 열심히 어, 개발에 어, 집중하고 있습니다. 그래서 언젠가는 저희 인공지능이 많은 어르신들을 행복하게 해주기를 바라면서 잘 부탁드리겠습니다. <웃음> uh, they are at Mr. Mind, the employees, the researchers are working hard because they know that globally speaking, with a lot of larger companies having AI technology, it can be a little bit uh, make a lot of people afraid of this kind of technology. But their goal is to work hard to bring a smile to the face of people in the elderly population as uh, they use kind of a, an emotionally beneficial AI technology that they have uh, to promote their product. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining us. I love these interviews. I think they're great. Uh, all the products that we were able to talk about the companies, the products themselves. Uh, I thought it was absolutely fascinating to see the potential, not only the potential of the products here in the Korean market, but of course, see the potential globally speaking. Uh, so I do want to say thank you again to everyone who came in. Uh, first of all, Helen, thank you so much for joining us from MingleCon. Thank you. Uh, and also uh, we had uh, Jenny who was joining us from Safeware. Thank you. 
and of course, Mr. Kim, Mr. Dongwon Kim, uh, for joining us from Mr. Mind uh, as you shared your products as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and that's it. We got to take a look at some of the issues uh, involved that are dealing with uh, not only Pangyo and uh, the tech startups here in Korea, but also Vietnam. So Long from the Vietnam Plus, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Long. And I hope this uh, allows for some amazing collaboration, some amazing networking in the future. Uh, I'm sure many of you will continue to stay in contact uh, with Vietnam Plus. And of course, please keep in contact with us as well. Good luck to everyone. And again, look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.